Your films, I think, are beautiful observations of characters and of stories that you have a unique way of making the audience wonder uh, what a character is thinking or feeling, even if it's just somebody sipping coffee in a diner, I think, to be honest. With you. And um, that being said, Certain Women is adapted from Miley Malloy's uh, Boat Ways is the only way I want it. And um, why did you ultimately choose these three short stories from a collection of 11? What was it about um, them that captivated actually, you? Uh, two of the stories are from Both Ways, and then one of the stories oh, is from her other collection, uh, uh, why am I forgetting the other collection? That's terrible. I thought that was my... Um, um. <laughs> no, um, uh, Half in Love. Okay, I yeah. see, yeah. And actually, yeah, I think the Travis B. story is from Half in Love. Uh, but anyway, they're two stories collections. Uh, Half in Love and Both Ways is the only way I want it. And I fooled around with different stories from both books. Miley was very generous in giving me sort of space and time in the room yeah. to mess around. Um with her beautiful work uh, and it's quite hard I think to probably let someone you don't know uh, dig into well, your stories because um, yeah. I think they're quite yeah I just I was really drawn to her writing and her depiction of these characters and where they and place where they lived and it in it in the stories you know felt uh, they're super internal but they felt cinematic right away you know yeah. so um so it was an easy leap to make um, to the uh, the only thing that wasn't an easy leap about it is was there a way for a triptych's kind of a scary thing and and and, and seems sure to fail um, <laughs> um, so it, I, it was an I was exploring to see with an open mind that it might just not work and I might back away from it this idea of like could would is there a way that these stories would add up to a, a whole that had some kind of meaning um, that yeah. So. Yeah, no, very good. Uh, and you mentioned uh, Miley Malloy, uh, your work is, their work is like their babies, you know, yeah. and wanting someone to adapt it, um, yeah. you know, is very personal. And e yeah. you've adapted a lot of um, works from short stories, uh, Old yeah. Joy, uh, Wendy and Lucy, and Certain Women. And um, what do you think constitutes a, a, successful, a successful adaption from a literary source? And um, what do you think um, are, are some of the mistakes people make when uh, adapting oh, into film? Um, Gosh, I wouldn't want to say. I, I mean, because I just don't know. It's um, to me, it's a nice. Uh, it just depends on what it is, you know. Jonathan Raymond's uh, stories appealed to me because they uh, were things I, I I liked that they were a so different than yeah. um, you know. I grew up in Miami and I lived in New York, and here are these stories that were all based around Oregon, and um, uh, though Wendy and Lucy was you know more of a you know didn't exist before well it's not true old joy existed in it and i found it and i thought wow this is i could this this would be great um yeah. john sent it to me and um uh everyone i showed it to said oh there's no film there there's no <sighs> film there and i was like oh there is a film oh, there yeah. and then um I remember a friend showed me Blissfully Yours, and I said, ah, oh, see, like, look, come on. Uh, not that the films have anything to do with each other, but just there was something about the way he filmed nature that made me yeah. feel very, uh, I mean, he's just such a brilliant filmmaker, but it, it was just an uplifting thing to see right before I was shooting. Um, uh, and so, but, you know, it's true, they feel like experiments, like maybe they won't work, who knows. Um, Wendy and Lucy was an idea John talked about uh, with me, and we talked about before he wrote the story. Yeah. And then we sort of, uh, I had, it, Lucy's my dog, and so, you know, I, um, traveling around with her, and we had to, whatever, it's a long story, but we yeah. had to work her into the story because she can never be left alone, and she's <laughs> an old not. joy, too. So, yeah. thus, um, old joy, I mean, uh, Wendy and Lucy was born, and then, um, and then it became a script. So the story and script were, uh, uh, it did, yeah, it was like sort of happening while we were talking about it. But um, it's, uh, it's the right length because, you know, you can expand on it, yeah. you know, and there's room to uh, just let things play out. And, it, it, and when you come from a novel, you're kind of consolidating, consolidating, consolidating. And so um, it just depends, you know, I mean... Uh, 
a novella is actually really probably the perfect size. That's like the, the shorts can be too short and the yeah. novel's too big, but the novella can be perfect, you know. So it, it really depends what it is if, uh, yeah, it, it, it depends what it is. Yeah. But I mean, I've loved all your adaptions so far. Uh, and, yeah, uh, thanks. That's m me and my uh, other friends have stayed up late at night interpreting what um, oh, Old yeah. Joy is about. Oh, and yeah. I I'm not going to like yeah, put you yeah, on the yeah. spot and say, yeah. is it about this yeah. and that? Because your films yeah. are often yeah. a, a, a Rubik's Cube of interpretation. Yeah, yeah, and they, they feel like a, a mixture of anthropology and poetry. Yeah. And I'm just wondering how much of a specific intent do you have to convey a, a specific um, emotion in certain scenes and how much of it is your actors interpreting your yeah. direction and what their characters are feeling uh, personal to them? Yeah, I think it's a combination of things. I think it's like the seeds that are in the, in the story that come from the writer before I yeah. even am involved. And then, um, and then there's something that the locations are bringing uh, in putting people in those locations. Yeah. Um, then there's the addition of animals, like adding an animal, putting something like a dog in Old Joy or the animals in Meets Cup, something that, uh, or a Wendy and Lucy, that keeps uh, everyone, anything from being too planned. So you have the, the script that's quite tight, but you have, um, you're shooting on location, so you don't know what the weather's going to be and you don't know what this animal's going to be. So yeah. there, there's something there's some elements that people are just going to have to react to and aside from the actors reacting to each other which are these uh you know whatever sounds are in the space and things uh like untrained animals you yeah. know and then um and then what the actors yeah so then the actors you know being sort of very present in the moment because of you know especially like if you're in a hot tub or whatever you're and it's freezing cold out yes. and there's uh you know there's a lot to uh when you're shooting on location there's a lot to react to and respond to yeah and so i think it's a, a combination of uh and then there's just like the framework of uh you know there's just what setting things in a frame does you know yeah. and how you kind of uh shoot the space and and then you know so it's a lot of things that help things come through and some of it is you know uh you know it's it's still amazing in editing how you realize like uh the kind of however long you give things or when you make that cut how much it can change yeah. uh something and so I think when, when editors are talking about it, like it all happens in the editing room, I think they're referring to that, about how you play with time. Yeah. Which, um, you know, but it, it's happening throughout. It's a long process, and, and a lot of people are bringing things along the, way, the yeah. way, you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's very collaborative. What it is, including what people are wearing and what's, you know, it, it is. There's a lot, uh, but you live with the story for a long time by yourself while you're working on a script and you're scouting and you're bringing it all together and then you start sharing it with other people and then you have this intense time yeah. of a, a team and uh, and then you're alone again in the editing room <laughs> and so and then um, you start doing your post and you're like with a team again you're with a color timer and a sound mixer and you're you know so it's there's so many um, stages uh, in a film and um yeah, and yeah. so there's like what you set out to make, but there's also the thing of, um, you know, Gus Van Zandt, I've read where he talks about like if you shot a scene before lunch and you had all the same elements and you shot that scene, you know, after the crew, a, it, it, things would be different because yeah. there is a, a life that happens yeah. on its own. And there's even your interpretation of what the audience interprets. Yeah, hopefully. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Believe me. No. I mean, you yeah, can, I mean, if you're not hitting the, if you're leaving room for ambiguity, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can understand people to an extent, right. but, yeah. you know, it's like, what are they really saying? You don't know unless you're yeah, that yeah. person, yeah, you know? Yeah. And uh, that actually brings me nicely to um, a question I had. It feels like every person, place, or thing you have in, in your movie and in your camera frame is a character, like the mountain is a, a backdrop, uh, even a horse. You, you kind of make me want to know, I mean, it might sound a bit stupid, you, you might... I want to know what that horse is thinking and I kind of feel like I do yeah. and in Wendy and Lucy that was one of the the best examples of, of making an animal feel important as a character mm. and 
make me wonder what the animal's feeling, um, you know, without having kind of lassie type tricks or uh, Eddie Murphy <laughs> voice in the, the... There might have been some lassie tricks. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, not on yeah, camera, yeah, but yeah, no. I'm just wondering, do, do, do you think it would be... Uh, do you think you'd be able to shoot a film almost entirely from an animal's perspective <laughs> in, in your um, be so corny. in your style? Uh, well, uh, I don't mean like <laughs> uh, uh, there is one shot in Wendy and Lucy, and it's the corniest thing. But I couldn't get away. I didn't know another way to do it. I just could not escape it. There's one shot of Michelle or Wendy from <coughs> Lucy's point of view. <laughs> and I remember my film friends just busting me about it, but I was like, but I. I have to have that yeah. shot. So it's a super, uh, it's not, I don't think you could, I, I don't think there's a way to, I don't know how you would do that without it being um, pointed. Yeah, so we'll keep <laughs> yeah. animals the yeah, supporting yeah. characters. I think so. <laughs> um, the, st- the stories you tell always leave me wanting more and uh, to find out, uh, you know, what happens next. So they're, they're, they're almost in a way, to me anyway, perfectly suited for long form uh, storytelling. I know other indie filmmakers like um, the Duplass brothers and Joe Swanberg have um, ventured into TV. Have you ever considered um, telling your stories over a more longer um, form? Indie filmmakers. Well, uh, sorry yeah, for that. Well, whatever. I mean, uh, independent film. Well, well, no. I mean, all of it. It's still the, the label is. Uh, yeah. What, I don't know. Uh, um, uh, you know. Uh, Oh yes, that format seems nice. Like b- being able to spread out over time. It's yeah. just uh, yeah, the format is nice. There's just like, um, you know, the thing with television is it's 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 a writer's game. It's yeah. like the writers have a lot more uh, creative uh, say more than the directors. Yeah. So it um, it's a you do get more time. But that's not. I mean, the miniseries is, would be the dream. But yeah. people are pulling away from that because the miniseries it could still be a director's game, and you could have more time. Though, yeah, I, though I've watched uh, a friend make a miniseries, it, it's really a lot of work. It's really? like making <laughs> a couple of films all at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's a lot. Um, so, yeah, I haven't gotten too close to that yet. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. fair enough. Um, and uh, here's a question I've always wondered. Uh, out of all the films you've made to date, if, if, if you had a chance to look at where one of these characters were in their life now. Uh, which okay. character would it be and why? Oh, Lucy. I wish I could uh, oh, have yeah. Lucy back. Yeah, oh. yeah. 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 Oh, sure. But, oh well. Um, no, I, when time you are done making the film and talking about the film for, <laughs> for a, well, now, like, over a year, yeah. um, you're, uh, you're ready to stop thinking about it. Really, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> right, that answers that question. I guess even if you're yeah. being interviewed yeah. by press people about the yeah, one exactly. film, I know I should have an answer. But comes to a point. Uh, yeah, who knows where they all are? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't always thought. Yeah, about it. yeah. Well, fair enough. I, I always wonder. Um, I mean, I wonder it about characters yeah. in movies I've seen. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not your definitely. <laughs> but just my own. Um, I'm ready to leave them go once you've finished go, yeah. yeah because this always ends in such a place where yeah. you know it's kind of a contrast between the hope and misery in, in a lot of cases you know Wendy and Lucy did she make it to I Alaska yeah well yeah that is life I guess that but you know small wimp of a girl trying to make it to Alaska she can't make it in Alaska well, you never know people are I've made it this far yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my final question for you is I, I believe your next project will be an adaption of Patrick DeWitt's novel, is that yeah, true? How, does, how do people know what's going on in the world? Uh, we have yeah. to, um, you know... Uh, uh, it has not I, been announced. I only get one chance for, um, <laughs> to ask you <laughs> I know. about your project. I, I know, I know. Um, you get very small amount of time in your life to live with something um, <laughs> privately. Oh, that's not a... That's, yeah. not a uh, that's an idea, that's a concept, that's a possibility. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's it, I'll get for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, no well, worries. Uh, Lovely to meet you. You too. uh, Thank you very much. Long may you make films that for the audience to join.